Today on Tricurl Studios, we talk about what I did to my Aria ZZ Explorer type guitar. Okay, so this should actually answer uh, some of the many questions I've gotten about this guitar. I think I've made like one or two videos with it, um, and I just set it aside for upgrades. I did the upgrades and then bought a whole bunch of other guitars and just haven't had uh, time to really um, sit down and play this one as opposed to playing all the other ones that I've purchased. Um, so when I got this guitar here, body and neck were in good condition um, other than a giant a uh, chunk that is taken out of uh, the top fin here. Uh, that's pretty clean. <laughs> but, um, I mean, everything uh, body and neck wise is pretty good on it. However, my main problems with it were the tremolo system. So the tremolo system on it was all, was all right, but had the issue of if I left it in a stand, you would just hear bink and you would lose a string, it would pop out. Um, and it did have the, if you did any dive bombs or, you know, basically much to it, it went out of tune. Uh, and as you know, with these type of tremolo systems, if it's going out of tune like that, it means you need to keep a screwdriver on hand um, to do your adjustments to get it back into tune for the most part. Uh, and then the pickups, I found they were very nasally, the ones that were um, included on the guitar. So I did a few changes. Um, I got a Goto Japan um, 1996 T tremolo system and I replaced the original one that was horrible. It actually had this little spring um, for the, the tremolo arm. Uh, so now this, as you heard in the sound sample, you can reef on it all day long and nothing really goes out of tune, um, you know, short of if you're doing this for, I don't know, an hour straight, you might, usually the G string on these guitars that goes out, so you might have to go like this for like half a second uh, to put it back in tune. And then for the pickups, I actually installed um, a set of Seymour Duncan blackouts in here. Uh, so there's now an active guitar, so in here there's a little battery um, that, you know, you can change everything out. Uh, so now it's a really good playing guitar. One of the great things about it is um, the actual weight to it. A lot of people that find these and buy them um, just absolutely love the weight and uh, the feel of the neck, even though it is a bolt-on. There's a lot of access because of this little tiny cut out that's here. Um, 
But yeah, it's 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 a really great guitar, and unfortunately for me, uh, I have this, I have 54 right now, uh, so I got rid of one. Um, so I have 54 guitars right now, and this this is just uh, one. I think I'm gonna try and, and pick up uh, some lower end tube amps, maybe some uh, fuzz pedals, or uh, maybe like a modulation set pedal or something. Um, but yeah, as as for the guitar, it's it's an awesome player, but I need to make room. <laughs> so it's either uh, going to get uh, traded here locally in Edmonton, or it's just going to sit in its rack where it's been sitting for the last year. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Ryan from Tracker Studios. I say good day.